Hey everybody, call me Felix and I just came back from yet another trip to Pagod Pud, the crown jewel beach destination this far up north in the Philippines. We were there for a day and night trip in early March and I made just three videos given our brief stay. However, re very recently we stayed in Pagod Pud for a few days longer and I'm glad to say I'll be sharing more of our food and travel adventures around the province of Ilocos Norte's quintessential tourist destination. You can check out my playlist called Pagod Pud Road Trip 2021 on the far right hand corner for all the videos in our series, showing you all the must see attractions and the noteworthy restaurants we came across. And there's one first class restaurant in particular in Pagod Pud that is the destination in itself. You won't want to miss that video or any other videos in the Pagod Pud Road Trip series. And so please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications on when each of our Pagod Pud adventures releases. From our home base in Piddig, Pagudput is about a two-hour drive away, and the town makes up a wide area and quite a variance in terrain too. You've probably heard that Pagudput's famous Saud Beach was recently placed on Travel and Leisure's Top 25 Beaches in the World for 2021, and was the only Philippines beach awarded that distinction over the usual beach you find in, say, Palawan or Boracay. However, Pagudput is more than Saud Beach, as the mountains and jungles at certain points seem to clash with the Azure Sea especially the further you drive east past Saud Beach when you visit the other famous beach in town, the Blue Lagoon, and further still to the lesser known Pasaleng Beach. There's also a secret spot along the Pagudpud coastline accessible only by boat that looks like a cross between Palawan, the Isle of Capri in Italy, and California's Big Sur at once, but really that's for another adventure video. However, in this video, we're covering an attraction between Blue Lagoon and Pasaling Beach along the main Philipp Pan-Philippine Highway. Or I should say, the attraction is this stretch of highway instead. It's one of the Northern Philippines' notable engineering marvels, the Patapat Viaduct. The fourth longest bridge in the Philippines, the Patapat Bridge appears like a concrete snake from end to end, embracing the contours of the Cordillera mountain range and the rocky seashore below. The bridge is elevated over 100 feet off the ground and makes up the length of 15 American football fields. Opened in 1986, the Patapat Viaduct was designed to alleviate the problems caused by landslides, and it is a vital link connecting the provinces of Ilocos Norte and nearby Cagayan Valley. It is no surprise that this scenic stretch and the structure of the Patapat Bridge make it a favorite stop for taking photos and videos. As all put together, you get the feeling you're on the Big Sur stretch of the Pacific Coast Highway in California, or even on a modern bridge of the Amalfi Coast in Italy. It's not uncommon to see cars parked and tourists posing in the middle of the road, but given the time of La Peste, we were the only tourists to traverse some parts of the Patapat Bridge by foot, although the near midday heat discouraged us from even walking a third of the way back. Alright, enough of my yapping. Here's the rest of the Patapat Viaduct video. Enjoy and keep watching for the little teaser for the next video in our Pagod Pud series.
Okay, you've reached the end of the Patapat Viaduct video and I hope you enjoyed it. Next time on the show, we went back up the hill and bridge backwards from whence we came with a right turn towards the Blue Lagoon and to Pagupud's newest Instagrammable attraction, the Bridge of Wonder. A bamboo platform jutting out into the crystal clear water of kelp bed strewn and with panoramic views notably of the Bantai Abot Cave. Before we could get to the Bridge of Wonder, we were mighty hungry from our morning road tripping and had lunch at the restaurant and resort that owns and operates this new Instagram wonder, Rosario's. This new restaurant called Rosario's is the hype of Pagud Pud, serving up big seafood platters, which happens to include my favorite item, spiny lobster. There's also bulalo, sisig, and pizza. Oh boy. Pizza, and so far I've had unflattering and unsavory remarks about the local pizza. Aside from the real deal at Smoke Restaurant in Pauai, by the way. Would I be enamored by Rosario's Pizza? Yes or no, I spent too much time talking about pizza in the next video by such a disarmingly beautiful view and place to even warrant obsessing about pizza. And also, Cousin Ben licks the plate off my blueberry cheesecake and so you should visit Rosario's for the cheesecake alone. On that shocking note, I want to say if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up as that helps a lot. An awesome way of showing appreciation to the show would be to subscribe and to hit the little bell icon for more of our Pugwood Put adventures to come as well as the usual food reviews forthcoming. Keep cool but care, and remember, the empire never ended. 